Hi guys, welcome to Learn Electronics Repair. And I have this on my bench today. So this is Shuel, I think we called it, a little standalone tester for M2 drives, okay? And the reason we're looking at this today, well, I reviewed a similar item a few weeks ago. And that's this one. So this was the two and a half inch, three and a half inch SATA hard drive tester, hard drives or SSDs. And basically with this little device, you just plug a hard drive into it and it will give you some information. So the capacity, the runtime, power on cycles, disc health. So it's not really telling you anything that you couldn't read using software on a PC. It's just a handy, convenient way to test hard drives if you have a batch of hard drives. You can power this from a USB power bank. I did suggest when I'm down at the car boot sale, I often find hard drives, sometimes SSDs, are they any good? Well, if you've got this with you, the power bank, just plug it in and at least tell you if it can read the drive. Okay, it doesn't do a full scan, but it gives you a good indication of whether the drive is okay-ish. Yeah. So this was so handy, it was cheap, 10 euros or less than that. And I know quite a few of you decided to buy these. And I was asked during that video, which you can see here, I'm just testing it. So I've connected the drive to it. The USB is just for power, from a power bank. And there we can see straight away the disk health, 95%, the run hours and so on, okay. So that's what the little tester device actually did. And it was really useful, I will say that. So let's look at this other version. So this is the M2 tester, Shuel, same brand. Again, comes with a USB lead, runs from a power bank or similar. The other tester, by the way, also had a barrel connector, 12 volts. So if you wanted to test three and a half inch drives, you had to apply the extra power lead as well. Obviously those drives draw more power basically that's why this one is just usb let's have a look on aliexpress and see how much this actually costs so here is the tester nvme dual protocol ssd enclosure okay digital health detection 17 euros 59 plus another couple of euros shipping that will of course depend on where you live so they are a bit more expensive than the other one in fact it was six euros 29 prices vary you know that guys okay and both of these devices by the way you can actually use them as you would with any sort of sata to usb adapter to access the drive read and write to the drive so it's not just a tester what i am interested in now to see is how easy this is to use so if we want to use this for testing you know a load of drives or ones we pick up again at the flea market or somewhere then we need to be able to quickly just attach a drive to it okay let's have a go so in the package here is our tester this is some sort of metal it's not plastic okay seems quite well constructed has a little heat sink on the back of it in fact 10 gigabits per second usb c of course it comes with two cables so they're very short but if you just want to test drive from a power bank that's fine this one obviously usb usb c and this usb 3 usb c we have also in the package some of these heat conductive pads little selection of those actually and some screws and a handy little screwdriver okay so the fact we have these makes me think that probably this is not something we can quickly apply a disc to and test but we will see maybe we can do that and then if we want to use it as a drive enclosure then we obviously have the fittings here okay so first thing i notice screw which you can unscrew with a provided screwdriver okay yeah that just clips off and there we have the tester okay i have a drive here nvme samsung an old one okay just 250 gig so let's see if we can actually use this i think probably you know if we just hold it like that we can probably test them yeah it's not going to get hot in the amount of time that we're going to test it for in fact we're probably not going to at the moment be reading or writing any data to it so let's just try this i'll just use my own lead with this because 
from where the camera is positioned above the desk and where my power bank is it's not quite so easy so let's see what this does Ah, yeah, so he's got it. Yeah, so uh, we can see 100% healthy, 232 gig, 706 hours, okay, 454 times. So, yeah, we can actually use that as a little test, and that is quite handy. Yeah, I like it. So this is something I can take with me at the car boot sale. Probably just leave that off the cover yeah, for that purpose and just plug these things and try them. Let's look at the difference in price between this and the standard M2 NVMe to USB adapter to see if we're paying a lot more for the screen. Well, obviously prices will change with the quality, but for metal case enclosures, okay, 12 euros with some cables 19 euros so a similar price obviously plastic ones are cheaper but the metal ones will conduct heat better if you actually use this as a drive okay so overall i'd say the price is pretty good to be quite honest for what this is doing handy little tester definitely if you have the sort of use for it i have in mind otherwise you know it's a good quality enclosure anyway for an external drive Okay, so that was a short one, guys. Thank you very much to the subscriber who asked if I would find one of these. I have done anything else like this you guys are interested in, handy little testers. Just let me know, and if I can get my hands on them, I will do. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. I look forward to seeing you more soon again on Learning Electronics Repair. Ciao for now, guys.